the midweek lull. Not the beginning, not the end, it's the in-between. I'm still feeling good, but I'm a pessimistic, pessimistic. I know it seems like, oh, let's just find an empty house and just throw a big party, and that's originally how I planned it to be. But now, as I'm going through the process, obtaining permits, all this bullshit stuff, more legitimate stuff, I'm losing sleep over right now. I just want to have a flawless kind of event. Finished up a couple pieces today. I'll probably wake up early tomorrow morning and come back and bust out a couple more. Hopefully tonight, we'll wrap up pretty early and go home and catch some Z's. I started out as a graffiti writer over 20 years ago in New York. I come from a culture that most people die young. Kind of squatter punk, gutter punk, drug addict, homeless. Just live fast, die young. It's almost, you know, the way people want to go. If anything, the street art took me out of that. Sitting around, drinking, passing the 40. It's great to paint with other artists. It's always good to see women representing in a street art scenario and see them killing it. We're doing our own pieces in this vast area, and I love temporary. I love that it's gonna be all painted over. You kind of put energy into something and then it gets released. Well, this I'm doing a tribute to my friend Billy who just passed last week. He was probably the person I've known the longest consistently in my life, besides for like family, but they're not even consistent in my life. Billy was with me everywhere I've moved, and I've moved a lot. He was like my little punk rock kid. He got diagnosed with a brain tumor years ago, and he made a decision not to seek medical attention for that. And uh, he passed. I got to play some of his favorite music for him while they pulled out the breathing tubes and watched his heart stop. And it was super emotional, but at the same time, I had to be like happy for him that he escaped. It's what I wanted to do. It's like what I wanted to do from the beginning to the end. I didn't have to change anything. I got the wall space, I got the photos right, I got the sentence right. <laughs> I just wish he was here. hoping to be able to give his friends something to come and kind of see and give some, maybe a little closure. And, and also like to be able to represent him in a way that he would love, for him to be part of this really cool thing. The memories last forever. I did it. Can you draw, can you paint a little arrow? It'd be funny. Paint a little arrow through the heart. That is a heart. <laughs> For me, the idea of having an interesting and different environment to interact with my work was really exciting. And plus, it was also cool that it's only one night. Street art is all about appreciating the beauty of an instant that something is presented to you, that, that it finds itself in your world. And I kind of like the fact that that to one person it's going to mean something profound, and to another person it's just going to be vandalism. I think that a lot of living in Los Angeles is about, you know, dealing with beautiful weather and like feeling like, you know, the skies are blue and everybody's super successful all around you and there's just you. Those are the people that I want to give encouragement to, that I want to sort of, you know, say, keep up the fight, keep going. To me it was about trying to put some humanity into the artwork. The things that you're kind of, that you wish you could change about yourself are often the things that define you in, in every other way. Day three was full of glee. I feel a little bit better about today. I feel pretty good. The walls are coming together really nicely, filling up. It's a good vibes club, man. Everyone's about good vibes. Mm -hmm.